Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this triangle ABC. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, side length uh, AD is uh, 24 units. This uh, side length uh, BD is uh, 56 units. And this uh, side length uh, CD is uh, 34. And moreover, this angle uh, ACD is uh, 25 degrees. This angle BDC is 62 degrees. And finally, this angle is 143 degrees. Now we are going to find out the value of these unknown sides AC and this unknown side BC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this uh, diagram. Here we got this uh, C as an exterior angle, and A and B are the opposite uh, interior angles such that this angle C equal to A plus B. So therefore in our case uh, this 62 degree angle is our exterior angle and these are our two opposite uh, interior angles. Let me go ahead and call this angle X then according to this theorem we are going to add X plus 25. Let me write down X plus 25 must be equal to 62 degrees. Let's go ahead and subtract 25 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So our angle X turns out to be 37 degrees. So therefore this angle X is 37 degrees. And now let's focus on this whole straight angle. That's 180 degrees. And we know that this angle is 143 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 37 degrees. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, angle CAD and this angle CBD are congruent angles and they are equal to 37 degrees. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, triangle ABC is an isosceles uh, triangle and this side length uh, AC is congruent to this side length uh, BC. And since these two sides are congruent, so that means we just need to figure out only one of these sides. And here's our next step. I am going to share with you this very fast uh, method. So therefore, let's focus on this uh, triangle ADC. Now let's focus on this uh, straight angle, uh, which is uh, 180 degrees. And we know that this angle is uh, 62 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 118 degrees. And now let's recall law of sines A divided by sine of alpha equals to B divided by sine of beta. Let me call this unknown side AC as our side A and the angle opposite to this A is going to be alpha. And let me call this side AD as side B and this angle opposite to this uh, side B is going to be angle beta. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. A in our case we don't know, just leave it there. And now sine of uh, alpha in our case is uh, 118 degrees equals to B in our case is uh, 24 divided by sine of beta is 25 degrees. Now let's go ahead and remove uh, this uh, fraction by multiplying uh, sine of 118 degrees on the left hand side and uh, sine of 118 degrees on the right hand side as well. Now we can see this sine of 118 degrees and this sine of 118 degrees is gone. So therefore A turns out to be equal to 24 times the sine of 118 degrees divided by sine of 25 
degrees and if we use a calculator we know that sine of 118 degrees is approximately equal to 0 0.883 and likewise sine of 25 degrees is approximately equal to 0 0.423 so let's go ahead and substitute these values over here so this is going to become 24 times 0 0.883 all over 0 0.423 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side our a value turns out to be 50 units so thus our this uh, a c length uh, turns out to be 50 units and we know that a c equal to b c so therefore this side length uh, b c is going to be 50 units as well so thus our two unknown side lengths uh, turns out to be 50 units as you can see over here and now let me go ahead and share with you the second uh, method and now let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular ce as you can see and we know that this uh, abc is an isosceles uh, triangle so therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, ae must be equal to this side length uh, e b and we know this total uh, length uh, a b is going to be the sum of uh, 24 plus uh, 56 that is going to give us 80 units so therefore this side length uh, a e is going to be 40 units and likewise e b is going to be 40 units uh, as well and now we know that this uh, a d length uh, is uh, 24 units and this uh, a e length uh, is uh, 40 units so therefore uh, this uh, length uh, d e is going to be 40 minus 24 is going to give us uh, 16 so therefore our d e length turns out to be 16 and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, d e c and we know that this is our right uh, triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c I'm going to call this side a and this side b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula a in our case is 16 so we are going to write down 16 square and we are going to find the value of b so let me go ahead and write down b square as it is and c in our case is 34 and then the whole square and now let's go ahead and subtract 256 from both sides this is gone so b square simply turns out to be 900 let's undo this square by taking the square root on both sides so therefore our b value turns out to be 30 units so therefore our uh, this uh, side uh, c e turns out to be 30 units and here's our final step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BEC now and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find the this missing side uh, BC and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side C I'm gonna call this side A and this side uh, b let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula a in our case is uh, 40 so let's write down 40 whole uh, square plus uh, 30 square equal to c square so let's add these numbers so c square turns out to be 2500 let's undo this square by taking the square root so therefore c value turns out to be 50 units so therefore our bc length uh, turns out to be 50 units and now since this ac length uh, equals to bc so therefore this ac length uh, is going to be 50 units uh, as well so thus our these two unknown side lengths uh, turns out to be 50 units each thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye